Hi everyone, welcome to my Autodesk screencast. My name is Zan Ta and I work for Repro Products in Smyrna, Georgia. I'm an Autodesk certified instructor and hold many certifications in multiple Autodesk products for the AEC industry. I hope you enjoy my screencast. If you'd like to see more of my screencast, please search for VAR 2015, that's VAR 2015, or my name. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up after you watch it. In today's screencast, we'll be taking a look at revisions in Revit 2016. Here I am in a Revit project. If I go to the View tab of the ribbon, under Sheet Composition, I have the command for revisions. I can click this icon. The Sheet Issues revision window will show up. And we can specify the numbering sequence to be numeric, alphanumeric, or none. We can hit Add and put as many revisions as we need in there and specify how we want them to be placed. So for example, if I say alphanumeric for all of them, that's what the designation is going to be. We can specify whatever date we want. We can specify any description that we want. We can specify if it has been issued to or issued by somebody, and if we do, then we can put a check mark for issued and it will gray out these fields so they don't get modified accidentally. We can also click show the cloud and the tag or the tag or none. So I'm going to do one where it says cloud and tag. I'm going to say one that says none, one that says tag. When we talk about the numbering options for numeric, we can click in here. We can say let's start the sequence number with uh, say 101. Uh, we can do as prefix or a suffix as well. And for alphanumeric options, we can say do things like let us not have O because it looks like a zero. Let's not have I because it looks like a one. Hit OK. Now that this has been set up, you hit OK. And then we can head over to, say, a sheet view. And you can see over here we have revisions, that revision title block. And this will report any revisions that we have going on. So if I go to the Annotate tab of the ribbon, let's go over and use the revision cloud command, say over here. Click this command here. In the uh, options toolbar, we can do chain radius and offset if we need to. And I'm just going to do, say, um, like that. Hit the green check mark, and it's finished. If I select that revision cloud, I can specify what revision it belongs to. And if you cannot add it to a revision sequence, it's because it has been issued. So I'm going to leave this and switch this to revision 2. And then we'll do another revision. Cloud, say, over I'm going to do another one, say, over here. And we'll make that revision sequence, say, 3. Hit the green check mark, and we're finished. If we head over to the sheet title block at the revision, you'll see the information, B, C, revision 2, revision 3. And that's it. That's how you work with revisions in 2016. Thanks for watching my screencast, and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up.